You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. It's now time for Off the Press, the segments where we analyze today's newspapers and make sense of it. And we have in the studio our guest, Jide Johnson. He is a lecturer at the Nigerian Institute of Journalism. Good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All Everybody, right. good morning, our listeners. And good morning. So we have so many newspapers sure. today, and I would like us to start with the punch. Uh, the story is here saying kidnappers, gunmen hold sway, abduct 75, kill 18. Abductors see scores, wedding guests in Niger, in Niger, Niger State, and Taraba. Accidents gone down residents in Katsina and Kaduna, as well as suspected cultists storm Delta communities, kill five. This one here says, Forex crisis, major nightmare facing manufacturers, says man. Toes may return, Oweri on Nietzsche, 11 roads set for concession. Buhari meets Sultan, NSCIA chiefs behind closed doors in Villa. President National Assembly on collision course, over service chiefs confirmation. This one here says, night grazing, herdsmen destroy farms in Ondo. Farmers lament. My family now lives in Ilori, says uh, the Seriki Fulani. Police rules recommend dismissal of unmarried pregnant court. Closure of Third Midland Bridge begins on Saturday, says Lagos. I escaped being retired by Obasanjo as major. And this major story, Nigeria drops in ranking, now second most corrupt in West Africa. Panic as COVID-19 breaks out in Lagos lab, workers infected. And lastly, why Fayashi shunned WK's peace meeting with Mackinde. So which of the stories would you like to speak on this morning? There's so many big headlines well, here on the punch. Let, let's start with Kidnappers Gone by No Sweet, Abdul 75, and Kill It in Niger. Um, the rule of Nigeria is on fire. This is enough to make um, the Inspector General of Police to resign, enough to make the Director of the DG of SSS to resign, and all of those that are in charge of the security apparatus of the nation to resign. In some other climate, it will have made the president to resign. Now, you see, banditry started in Zamfara. Zamfara moved to, to, to Kassina. Kassina now, all over the Northwest, we were usually, initially we were dealing with the issue of Boko Haram in the Northeast. Now, the Northwest is, 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 is involved. The North Central now that spread all over the nation. And one of the Katna factor that helped um, Bari to pull over the finish line in 20, 2015 was that he would be able to deal with the security issues in the country. But rather than for the security issues to get better, it's getting worse and by the day and by the minute. And every Nigerian is scared of traveling all over the country. I don't really know what is really going on. But in a situation whereby you are rewarding criminality, we saw how uh, the governor of Karasina State rewarded criminality by giving money <coughs> to bandit Linda Arms. We saw how the former governor of Zamfara State re rewarded criminality by giving money to bandits for them having meetings with criminals. You are calling them bandits and calling them terrorists because the word terrorists from those that terrorizes people. Now, they, these are domestic terrorists, terrorizing people. I have never seen anywhere in the world except Nigeria we are a government, an established government, who be negotiating with terrorists, with terrorists. When you begin to reward criminality, you are promoting it, and we have seen how it has spread all over the country. It's rather unfortunate mm -hmm. that we found ourselves in this, in this, in this messy, messy okay. situation. Seventy-five, eighteen were killed. Oh and, my goodness! Uh, you can't travel even from the federal capital territory to 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 Kaduna, all right. from Abuja to Kaduna. That, that road is, 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 is crazy. Every road in Nigeria is crazy. Mm. And the president is locked up in Azo Rock and is having been doing traditional rulers. He's not going to have uh, to have a situation uh, to, to visit all of this area to look at how things are going on. All right. So are let's now turn to um, just another headline here. There's so many others, especially this one about Nigeria dropping in rankings, now second most corrupt in West Africa. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, uh, we are dropped the rank. 
with whatever index you want to look, the only way we have appreciated, appreciated in, 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 in ranking is corruption index. But every other index, every other developmental index, every other growth interest, what has happened to our nation, we have dropped in terms of in terms of the income, in terms of um, infrastructure, in terms of uh, basic things that make anyone to, 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 to be a, to be a citizen, to be a citizen of any, any good nation. What can you point to that is that is positive? Everywhere is just just gloomy. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by the time they come out with the next survey, you see where we belong to. It's mm. rather, it's rather unfortunate. Because look, the beauty of any government is about collaboration. Collaboration amongst agencies of government, collaboration among units of government. Now, I actually this basic if I, if a party cannot put its house in order, how can the how can such party put a nation in order? Uh, what is the state of APC in Nigeria? The state of APC in Nigeria will tell you the state of affairs of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not surprising. It's, it's rather unfortunate right. that we found ourselves in this, in this, in this horrible situation. All right. Uh, Jude Johnson, let's move over to um, another news paper. Hopefully, before we end, we can quickly also get your thoughts on the pregnant uh, uh, police, police uh, woman officers that were dismissed. Who uh, has been dismissed, um, you know, and of course, uh, if, if that's and really... Why would, you, why, why would you... I've not seen the, those that are fighting for family strike coming to talk about that. Why would you... What happened to a man that impregnated the lady? What happened? Well, okay. How many police officers, how many of the... How many... Let's talk about that issue. How many of the men and rank and file of the Nigerian police are legally married? What has happened to those that impregnated women without getting married? How many of them are married? Well, that's 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 an archaic law. That's a law that they that, in fact, um Jesus Christ, the progenitor of the Christian faith, destroyed that law when that woman was caught in adultery and they brought her. It takes two to tango, they brought her to the men brought her and accused her of picotting her. They didn't bring the man. That's the problem of patriarchal society. They didn't bring the man. And he asked them, who amongst you has not committed any sin? Let him be the first person to pick the stone. Now I'm asking the officers across Nigeria whether many of them are legally married to their wives or to their concubine. Absolute nonsense. All right. Uh, well, well. Pretty strong, um, and uh, you know, I, we, unfortunately, we don't live in a society where you know there are those um, laws that can be looked into with regards um, suing for um, unfair dismissal from. They're not even allowed or, 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 to protest. Well, so they know as, as all right, let, let's move to the Guardian newspapers this morning. Uh, we can see some of the stories there. Uh, stakeholders examine impact of corruption. You already spoke about that. Northern elders are a fault Igbo's exclusion from service chiefs. Urge review. Buhari Tinubu APC contract will terminate in 2023, says Lamido. And bandits kill 17 in Katsina and three other states. More pains for Lagosians as the third mainland bridge closes today. That's uh, Friday. Uh, we can also see here Petroleum Bill 40. Niger Deltans insist. There was also a, a fight yesterday at the hearing of the Petroleum Industry Bill. Um, representatives of uh, communities, you know, the elderly, you would expect, got into uh, exchanging punches yesterday. Also, we can find on the Guardian this morning, Cross River bows to pressure, confirms Ikpeme as chief judge. Um, so let's start you with the Northern Elders and Ohanez fought in the exclusion of an evil man from the service chiefs. Uh, do you think that they have legitimate reasons uh, for their outcry, or um, maybe you know? Well, I will start from I will start from a legal point of view. I've always been an advocate of it. Doesn't really matter wherever anyone comes from, as long as you can do the job. Believing the little Christian, not all of this nonsense. However, if you look at the peculiarity of our nation, I think um, there's a need for us to have a balance in terms of structure. And in terms of personnel and in terms of distribution of public offices, I quite agree with the honesty of this one. However, um, this is the job of the National Assembly. The National Assembly is meant to, to, to ensure that there is compliance with federal character. And the president has great no potential 
with respect to how he, he believes the security uh, apparatus and who should help the security. It's rather, I say, it's rather unfortunate because the president does not even have, he has the power to appoint, but the power to approve and certify whoever to clear whoever he has appointed is with the National Assembly. Those the, pres those the president have, have appointed, they are just in acting capacity, they are not substantive. I agree with what Trent Palano said because you must, the, the National Assembly is there. The, the otherwise, you'll be raising a dictator and then people will be pledging their loyalty for them to know that their loyalty is not to the commander in chief. Have you ever seen the president of America being called the commander in chief of the American Armed Forces when they are introducing it? It's an aberration we brought from the military era into our civilian democracy. Uh, we're going to try to reconnect with. Um Judy Johnson this morning and, uh, of course, get to share more of his analysis on these uh, major stories. Um, there's, um, of course, other newspapers that we're going to be moving into. Yes, there is a This Day newspaper. It says, Buhari mobilizes international support against COVID-19 and terrorism. He warns Nigerians against promoting ethno-religious prejudice. NSIA boss wins virus fights, boosts virus fights, donates medical equipment to healthcare institutions. This one here says, Jonathan, Mac, Ibori, others console Okoa over father's death. And we're aware Judy Johnson is back with us. So can you hear yeah, us? Uh, on the, I can hear you. Oh, on right. the issue of the petroleum, on the fight okay, and the full on the floor of the National Assembly. Okay. Concerning petroleum, uh, well, uh, it's rather unfortunate that the money that has been raised and given to the Niger Delta in terms of 13 percent to derivation and every pressure. If not used for everything for anything. It's just the leaders. That's why you see them fighting. Communities fighting against one another over the spoils of office. And that's how they are going to share the money. It's not about the interest of the people in the Niger Delta. The little resources that has gone to the Niger Delta, even though it's not enough, you have to keep that it should be increased. But the little resources that has gone to the Niger Delta, it should Every state in Niger Delta should look like Dubai, if not better than Dubai. But what do we have to show for it? Absolutely nothing. So that is it's a reflection of what happened when the resources actually get down and how these people fight to share this money amongst themselves. So that's a reflection of it. All right. On The Guardian, or the This Day newspaper, rather, it says uh, the president mobilizes international support um, against COVID-19 and terrorism. Uh, so let, let's let's get your quick thoughts on that one, so we can move to the nation. Well, um, I think you should start. You should start within, if not without. You should start within. There should be an there should be an internal mechanism over all of these things that has happened. As the president called the Council of State, as he called the Council of State meeting, as he called uh, the meeting of all the governors for them to meet together with all the security chiefs, as he had meeting. You told the police commissioner in the states, director of SSS and everything. You want you must start from within. What are the steps? What are we can't see any constructive step being taken within, and then the president is mobilizing international international support when you have not done something within. I think my advice to the president, because our our responsibility is to point to the government what they need to do. My advice to the to the president is that you must start from within. The first rule of success is that success starts from within. Now, the president must call a meeting internally, locally, invite all the governors, all the security apparatus, all the police commission and the rest of Let's have a meeting. Let's have a dialogue. A dialogue as we can how we can prevent the, the put of terrorism all over, all over. You see, robbery, you can't walk safely, even in Lagos. You can't walk safely. People are being robbed. You can't move freely. Across Nigeria, your life is, you are being terrorized left, right, and the center. So there must be an internal mechanism before you begin to mobilize um, um, international international support. There's a particular thing, my local talent. Somebody that wants to put clothes on another person's body, you first look at the clothes he is wearing. So that's 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 um, that's the All situation. Right. If you can't solve your own internal security uh, problem, who will listen to? 
you have nothing to say. All right, let's let's put the they through the uh, the nation newspapers. See so what we can also find over there. Uh, once again, the story on Oneze and uh, their service thoughts chief. on uh, the service chief. It says here, Oneze and North elders fought service chief's choice. Obiozo Southeast still excluded in security team. Buratai handsover recall handsover rather recalls how Bassanjo nearly retired him. Um, also, Ondo workers okay 50% pay cut. Government kicks uh, PDP gloats as T, uh, Transparency International ranks Nigeria 149th in corruption index. NSIA boosts COVID-19 treatment with oxygen uh, devices. And also, government tackles Amnesty International on lecky shooting cover-up claim. And also talking about the lecky shooting, I'm going to sh um, um, share a little bit here. NSARS, families of slain officers get 160 million naira. And uh, also, APC registration takes off. So let, let's start with the, well, let's, I think, the, with the time we have, uh, the compensation for officers of, uh, that, you know, lost their lives during the NSARS protest. Um, let's get your thoughts on that okay. one. Right. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's nice that officers are, are compensated. What happened to other families that lost their loved ones, that lost their children, their husband, and their future? I think they too should be compensated. And it's 100, 100, 100, yes, they made it 100 days ago that this incident, this unfortunate incident happened. And then we are still, we have still not gotten the report of various commissions that have established across the nation. I think the family should be compensated. I think a cenograph should be erected at to 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 to, to memorialize uh, the people that lost that lost that a part to be to be to be put there to, to memorialize those that died during this unfortunate. A nation does not kill its future. We ended up killing our future the, by killing those youths that is drawing our attention to some of the challenges we have in this country. Police brutality, terrorism lack of opportunities here, here and there. So, as far as I'm concerned, those the police officers deserve to be compensated because if you serve your state, you must be compensated. There's no doubt about that. However, the citizens also deserve more. They deserve better. And government must do something All right. to address this particular issue. You see, if these issues are not addressed, they are just delaying the time for Nigeria is sitting in a time for And we need to address some of these trade now. And that's why people keep clamoring for um, restructure. When we talk about restructure, it's about where do we go from here? How did we find ourselves here as a nation? And where do we go from here as a nation? All right. Thank you so much, uh, Judy Vincent, for your thoughts on Off the Press this morning. It's a pleasure. All right. All right. Great speaking with you. Uh, uh, Judy Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> we, we have a little bit more, you know, to, uh, coming your way. There's actually a lot more coming your way this morning. Um, you know, one thing that I hope that we'll be able to bring up um, a lot later is, you know, the question about if we have misused the ease of getting loans and support from the international mm -hmm. community. Uh, if the president still continues to call on international community support, you know, um, security to support us with regards to COVID-19, have we yeah. misused, you know, the ease at which we get that level of support? Mm. And that's why we have um, a current debt profile that is staggering. And, you know, Nigerians can't necessarily see a lot on ground that we've achieved with the loans that we've taken both at the federal level and at the state level. But we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about those things. Yes. Stay with us. Uh, what comes up today in history? Yes, today in history will be right up after this. This stay with us.